Who are the two witnesses in Revelation chapter 11 today on Hot Topics? Hi, this is Robert Furrow and welcome to Hot Topics. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you can get all of our new content. We are a fairly new channel and we are committed to putting out two videos a week that cover hot topics within the Christian community. I hope that these are a blessing to you. In Revelation chapter 11 verses 3 through 13, we see two new people come on the scene who are called my two witnesses. Let me read you Revelation 11, 3 through 13. And I will give power to my two witnesses, and they will prophesy 1,263 days clothed in sackcloth. That's three and a half years. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands standing before God on the earth. This is from Zechariah 4, 2, 3, and 11. And if anyone wants to harm them, fire proceeds from their mouth and devours their enemy. And if anyone wants to harm them, he must be killed in this similar manner. And they have power to shut up the heavens, that no rain would fall in the days of their prophecy. And they have power over the waters to turn them into blood and to strike the earth with all plagues as often as they desire. These two things were things that Elijah and Moses did. And in verse 7 it says, when they finish their testimony, the beast who ascends out of the bottomless pit will make war against them, overcome them, and kill them. And their dead bodies will lie in the streets of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. So we know that that's Jerusalem. Then those from the people's tribes, tongues, and nations will see their bodies three and a half days and not allow their dead bodies to be put into a grave. And those who dwell on the earth will rejoice over them, make merry, and send gifts to one another, because these two prophets tormented those who dwelt on the earth. Now after three and a half days, the breath of life from God entered them, and they stood on their feet, and great fear fell on those who saw them. And they heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Come up here. And they also ascended to heaven in a cloud, and the enemy saw it. That same hour there was a great earthquake, and a tenth of the city fell. In the earthquake, 7,000 people were killed, and the rest were afraid and gave glory to the God of heaven. Now, we got a little bit of a clue to who I think the identity of these two people are. Some believe that it was Enoch and Elijah, because these are the two men in Scripture who have never died. The Bible says in Genesis 5:25 that Enoch walked with God and was no more. And the Bible says in 2 Kings 2:11 that Elijah was separated from Elisha by a chariot and then a whirlwind took him up into heaven and the bible says it's appointed once for man to die and then comes judgment so it must be these two however enoch is a gentile and this happens in jerusalem and as far as we can tell these two witnesses are jewish i believe that enoch is a type of the church who walks with god and is taken up before the wrath is poured out upon this world we also find a passage in the book of Jude 9, which says that Michael and Lucifer contended over the body of Moses. And we have no idea why they were contending over his body. It then goes on to say that Michael would not say, I rebuke you, but instead said, the Lord rebuke you. Here are the four reasons why I believe that Moses and Elijah are most likely the two witnesses. Number one, the two witnesses do the same miracles that Elijah and Moses did. Elijah called fire down from heaven. Elijah shut up the heavens so that it would not rain and then prayed and opened it back up again. Moses, of course, turned water into blood and did all kinds of plagues in Egypt. Second, Elijah was taken alive into heaven and Michael and Lucifer contended over the body of Moses. You might think at this point about Moses, the Bible says it's appointed once for man to die and then comes judgment. And that is basically true, but there are exceptions. For example, Lazarus died twice. There are others who died twice. So in this case, Moses would die twice as well. It's the same thing as the little girl that Jesus rose from the dead. Number three, Jesus met with Moses and Elijah on the Mount of Transfiguration. It was that moment when the veil was poured back and we saw Jesus in all of his glory. And Elijah represented the prophets and Moses represented the law and they talked together and a voice from heaven said this is my beloved son listen to him a command from God that we should listen to Jesus 
that Jesus interacted with them on the Mount of Transfiguration. Number four, we find that Jesus said in Matthew 17 that Elijah is going to come, and if you can take it, John the Baptist was Elijah. John the Baptist came in the spirit and the power of Elijah, but Elijah is going to come before the great and powerful day of the Lord. And I believe that it is these two witnesses. We see that Moses and Elijah then represent the law and the prophets, which shined as a light. Jesus fulfilled the whole law, and he fulfilled all of the prophecies given to him, and these two would represent that. And in Zechariah, where we have the two lampstands that are fed by the two olive trees, which are also the two witnesses, would speak of the light that they are given to shine. They were to shine as lights. The law and the prophets shone as lights, and they were anointed by the power of the Holy Spirit. The two trees feeding the lamps would be the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The two lamps would be the light that shines in darkness. And all of us are called that we would live as a light for him, and we are filled by the anointing of the power of the Holy Spirit as well, just like these two men. Just like the Word of God and the anointing of the Holy Spirit works together to reveal or to be a witness for Jesus. The Bible says that all scripture is brought by the inspiration of God. What is the application to this? That you and I would live as witnesses today, that we would know that we can stand fast and firm at what God has called us to do, that we can plant seeds, that we can water them, and God gives the increase. Some of us will be allowed to be able to harvest, but the great work that we do is shining as lights for him. We've been given the keys to the kingdom. The gates of hell will not prevail against us. We've been told that we would have success. As long as we share for Christ, those two witnesses will witness to Jerusalem in those days, and you and I have been called to witness to those who are around us. May we faithfully execute that. Now, if you like this video, make sure to click the like button below. God bless you. We'll see you the next time on Hot Topics.